All right, guys, they're so gonna be doing third grade worksheet lesson 19. So let's start off by choosing the letter of the number sentence that matches. Number one, five plus five plus five. So since all the numbers have five in them, that's gonna be the first number. And we see that there's five three times. One, two, three. So we're gonna multiply five three times to get 15, which is G. Now for the next one, the common number is four. And four appears one, two, three, four times. So we would multiply four, four times because that's how many times it appears and that matches with C. Number three, nine plus nine plus nine. Now the common number is nine and it appears one, two, three times. So we do nine times three and that is H. Number four, five plus five. It's five and the five appears twice, which means we would do five times two, which is the same thing as A. Number five, four plus four plus four. The common number is four, which is the first number we multiply by. And the second number, four appears three times. So we would do four times three, which is E. Now, number six and eight are similar, except we can see that number eight has one more two here. So by looking at the answer choices, we can see that B and F both have two times something. But since eight has one more two in it, we would multiply by eight instead of seven. So we know that eight is F and six is B because there's one more two in number eight. Number seven, seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. The common number is seven and we multiply it by one, two, three, four. Seven times four, which is number, which is letter D. Now moving on to complete. Number one, three times eight equals blank. Three times eight is eight plus eight plus eight. It's like the work, it's like the page before. So adding these all would get us 24. Five times five equals blank, and that's just 25. Five times three equals blank, which is 15. Seven times three equals blank, which is 21. Four times six equals blank, which is 24, because four times five is half of 40, which is 20. And then we add one more four to get 24. Number six, number seven, six times three equals blank. This is six plus six plus six. Six plus six is 12 plus six is 18. Eight times two equals blank, which means eight times two is just doubling eight. And the double of eight is just 16. Three times four equals blank. We would multiply four three times, which is adding it three times, adding four three times. And four plus four plus four is the same thing as 12. Four plus four equals two times blank. So first let's figure out what four plus four is. Four plus four would be eight. And to find out what we need to multiply to get this missing number here, we would just do eight divided by two because division is the opposite of multiplication. So eight divided by two is just four. So number 10, two times four. Number 11, six times blank equals six plus six plus six. You can see here that the six appears one, two, three times. So we would multiply six by three. And to check that, we can do six times three, which is 18. And six times six plus six plus six is the same is also eighteen. So number eleven is correct. Now moving on to copy and complete. Four rows of five. And oh wait, sorry, that's just an example. All right, so B. There is one, two, three, three rows of one, two, three, four five, six, three rows of six. And we just multiply these two numbers like in the example above. 
So that would be three times six, which is 18. And that is the number of boxes in this grid. C, there is one, sorry, there's one, two, three, three boxes going the going vertically, and one, two, three, four, five boxes going horizontally. So we would just do three time three rows of five, and that's just three times five. And three times five is fifteen. D. So on the vertical side, there's one, two, three, four, four rows of one, two, three, four, four rows of four, which is four times four. And four times four is 16. Now this final number, we can see that there is in fact 16 boxes in this grid. Moving on to word problems. The sum of Haley's age and Jenny's age is 26. Haley is eight years older than 20, than Jenny. How old are Haley and Jenny? So we know that Haley's age and Jenny's age both add up to 26. So that would be X plus Y equals 26. To represent, to represent Haley's age, we would do Y minus eight because she's eight years older than Jenny. So when we plug this in, it would be X plus Y minus eight equals 26. Now to solve this, we would do, we would add eight to both sides to get, oh wait, sorry, it's X plus X. And this is X instead of Y, sorry. So, so that means our new equation would be 2x equals 34. We need to get this x by itself, so we would divide both sides by 2. x equals 17. Now, 17 is the age of Haley. And to find the age of Jenny, we can see that Haley is 8 years older than Jenny. So we do 17 minus 8, which is 9. And that means Jenny's age is nine years old. And we can see that 17 plus nine do add up to 26. And the gap between 17 and nine is eight. Now, moving on to Ab number two. Abigail needs a notebook that costs $2.05 and a package of pencils that costs $1.99. She has $5. Does she have enough money to buy both items? To figure out if she has enough money to buy both items, we would add the cost of the notebook and the pencil because those are the two items she buys. So 2.05 plus 199. Now our final answer needs to be below $5 to see, and that means she wouldn't, she would have enough money. So nine plus five is 14. Nine plus zero plus one is 10. You carry over the one, and two plus one plus one is four. Now she's gonna spend four dollars and four cents on the notebook and pencil, and she has five dollars. So she does have enough money to buy both items.